Welcome back to the channel, guys. In today's video, we're taking a look at ASTAR. This is a Polkadot-based parachain that concentrates on smart contracts. And as they state on their own website here, they are aiming to be the multi-chain Polkadot dApp hub. So they're incentivizing dApps to be built on top of this smart contract platform and connect to the rest of the crypto ecosystem. If you enjoy the content in today's video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and check out the pinned comment down below to join us over on Patreon for more discussions. So here we are with their website. It says ASTAR is the Polkadot native dApp hub supporting Ethereum virtual machine, web assembly, dApp staking, and layer two solutions. They have a rather large community behind them, a large Asian influence. And I think this gives us an advantage in the West. Not so many people looking at the Polkadot ecosystem, not too many influences on this one. And so I think we can get a bit of edge in this market. And it's concentrating on specific areas of the crypto ecosystem that I'm particularly interested in. DAOs, NFTs, non-fungible tokens, and also decentralized finance. And ASTAR has only been up and running for just over one month at this point, and they've already got projects rolled out in these various sectors and have accumulated quite a decent amount of TVL so far. So it is pretty much off to the races from day dot, excuse the pun, but things are rocking and rolling with ASTAR. They aim to be the heart of a multi-chain future as they show from this diagram, connecting the Polkadot ecosystem via ASTAR to other smart contract platforms and ecosystems like Cosmos and Ethereum. They've also got a lot of multi-chain integrations with various swapping protocols, allowing you to bridge funds from different areas of the cryptosphere into ASTAR. And their main aim here is to have a development focus. So as they state here, DApps staking, this is something we're gonna jump into. They have this inbuilt economic design where ASTAR tokens are given out as rewards to those who are actually building smart contracts on the platform. So if you're creating DApps, you can get almost an incentivization or you could think of it like a universal basic income or a subsidy for building on this network. Very ingenious stuff. We'll dive into this in more detail. They are also multi-virtual machines, so EVM support and also web assembly. So allowing for different builders from different backgrounds to get involved on this chain. And they also support layer two solutions like ZK rollups. So the Polkadot relay chain doesn't natively support smart contracts. And so you need a smart contract platform. We looked at Moonbeam in yesterday's video, but another premier smart contract platform on Polkadot is a start and they're really taking this dApp first approach. Also on their website, they show off their staking portal. Currently, they're having a bit of a dApp staking festival that is promoting high APYs. Once I've got a good bag of A star under my belt, which I plan to get, then I will be doing a full staking tutorial at some point. Let's jump into the token. So here you can see A star currently ranked 248th in the crypto ecosystem. This is a layer one blockchain for all intents and purposes. And so this market cap of just 206 million seems like a bit of an outlier in comparison to other blockchains we've seen out there. Total supply around 7 billion and currently around 20 odd percent are currently circulating, just over 1.5 billion tokens. And you can see they've already got a TVL on here of around half of a billion dollars. Market cap to TVL ratio of 0.41. If we look at the price chart, this one looks like it bottomed already and is already in a phase of accumulation. You can see in comparison to other charts that will be down only at this moment in time, it already bottomed around a month ago and is slowly creeping up in price. A little bit unusual in these market conditions, but I think this shows you there is interest in accumulating this token. So this phase of distribution or reaccumulation is something of very much interest in my opinion. And you can also notice a large volume spike down here so buyers have stepped in when we've got to a price point of around 10 cents on this one currently trading at 13 cents in terms of markets currently available on gate huobi kucoin and kraken they were participants of the parachain crowd loans over on Binance. So I would expect a Binance listing to follow at some point and increase the liquidity for this token. And essentially any of the main Polkadot trading venues, I think will also have the likes of ASTAR and Moonbeam and Akala down the line. So liquidity will increase with this one over time. And I think the opportunity to get in a layer one blockchain at just $200 million in an ever expanding Polkadot ecosystem seems like something sensible to do during a bear market accumulation phase. So just for giggles here, A star compared to ADA, if we were to get to the market cap of ADA here, we would have to do 135x 
Now, A-Star has roughly half a billion in TVL. Ada has 150 million. And from what I'm looking at in terms of media articles, the amount of updates coming from A-Star, they are pushing the boundaries a lot quicker than Ada and releasing a load of projects in much quicker succession and also having a lot less troubles than Ada. Think about the transaction times on SundaySwap, for example. So this may seem a bit pie in the sky at this point, but for A-Star to get to multiples of dollars is not that far-fetched. Now one thing it does have as an advantage is Polkadot is a part of the BSN. This is a blockchain service network, so essentially the Chinese government's private blockchain network. So they integrated Polkadot and so this has a huge narrative behind it. Can you think of the impact of potentially Chinese government utilizing blockchain tech? As one of the co-founders of Parity posts down here, we anticipate Polkadot to be used by developers across the world to build and run innovative protocols and applications. And the BSN integration will support developers on that journey by enabling them to seamlessly connect to the public chain. I think this is a huge opportunity. Anyone connected to the BSN has potential for mammoth growth, as we know what a powerhouse the Chinese economy is. So let's have a little look at some token metrics here. The ticker is ASTR, as we've already seen. The token type, utility and governance. So 7 billion tokens is the max supply or total supply, but it will increase with an inflation rate of 10% per year from this point. So there will be incrementally more and more A-star hitting the network. The token allocation is as follows. Roughly 50% of all tokens are distributed to early participants in the community. So users and early supporters, this goes down to the guys who got involved with the Plasm lock drop before Plasm rebranded to A-star. So that accounts for 30% of tokens and these are very early supporters. I was part of that crew. On top of this, we get 20% to the parachain auction participants. So all of these tokens going to community. I like to see that a good ratio there. Also on top of this, the team only taking a 5% cut. So they're clearly not in this for a money grab. You can see a full breakdown on the pie chart of how those will be allocated. And this is the release schedule. So early supporters, seven month linear vest, 10% initial allocation. And so not getting all tokens up front. So not an immediate dilution for the parachain. As we know, we're locked in for a long period of time here, a 22 month linear vesting with a 10% initial drop. And then if we look at the team release, a two year lock, and then a three year vesting schedule. So these guys clearly would have to believe in what they're building for them to be locked in for this duration of time. Use cases of a token, it's used for transaction fees like Ethereum gas. The A-Star token is needed for gas on the network. There are block rewards, this is a proof of stake blockchain. And we'll jump into how the rewards are distributed in a moment. Governance, i.e. on-chain voting, and then also staking for consensus for validators and nominators. So here we have an infographic of the DAP staking model on ASTAR. So this is how they are going to utilize that 10% annual inflation to boost their ecosystem and gain network effects. So in this example, they're stating that say they've got a billion dollar valuation and then they've got 10% inflation per year and thus $100 million. Out of this 10% inflation, 50% goes to the right here. So 10% goes to collators, those involved in proof of stake. And then 40% goes to their treasury, maybe for future parachain bids or for just general development of this ecosystem. And then 50% of the tokens go to the devs and DAP stakers. So this incentivizes people to be building on top of ASTAR's network. So as they show, 10 million would go to stakers. This is DAP stakers. You specifically stake your tokens to a DAP. So if you've got a favorite DEX on the network, for example, you stake your tokens to them. And as they point out down here, that would be essentially like staking on Uniswap, for example. And then the other 40 million down here would go to devs based on stakers voting weight and on-chain data. So if you've got a lot of people staking to your dApp because it's highly popular and you're doing a load of transaction volume, you're going to get a lot of these incentives. So you're being paid in A-Star, just like I mentioned, an incentive system, continual drip feeding of funds, like a subsidy for you to continue building on this network. And this would be on top of any transaction fees or revenues you generate from your dApp itself. So there's a lot of benefits for building on top of this network. And as they say, the more dApps that are created, that means more tokens would need to be staked. So say you've got 
got 10 dApps and that expands to 100 dApps, well, all those individuals like myself will then have to stake to the newest dApps. Maybe there's better opportunities out there. It's just gonna draw people to start staking their tokens more and more. And so the more tokens that are staked, less in circulation, number go up. So that is the flywheel explained and how they see the future of this playing out with game theoretic incentives and a really healthy model that will continually promote the growth of this ecosystem and ensure it is well funded. So in terms of the main Polkadot based crowd loans that have taken place, ASTAR is currently the number one ranked in terms of amount rewarded per DOT token. It's currently coming in at around $13 in comparison to Moonbeam's $9, Clover's six and Akala's five respectively. So it's actually outperformed from that first batch of parachains, which is rather interesting as many people would have had Moonbeam or Akala down as the number one. And I think going forward, although Moonbeam is probably seen as the number one smart contract platform, there is definitely a very close competitor here with ASTAR and this could surprise people and I think they could be entering into areas of the market that Moonbeam will not. So definitely one to have on the radar here is ASTAR. An example of this is that they've already got an NFT project launch. It's called the ASTAR DGENs with these gorillas. They actually minted out just yesterday for 600 ASTAR apiece and they're now on a secondary website called Tofu NFT. And some of these are now trading below mint price, 600 A star, now trading at around 544, 550 odd. If you wanna pick one of these up, they may have historical context going forward for this network. And this also helps fund a DAO behind this. So as you can see, they've already integrated NFTs and DAOs straight off the bat within around one month of launch. Next up here, we're covering this news. Polkadot Parachain A star launches a $100 million boost incentive program. So typically we see if there's incentives, the apes will follow, people wanna get involved, yield farm, all these opportunities. And I think this will get feet firmly through the door here on the A-Star network. So last month, A-Star raised 22 million from venture firms such as Alameda and Polychain Capital. And now they've added this additional liquidity boost to provide liquidity and offer financial support and incentive programs to smart contract developers. So there will be building coming on this network very, very soon. ASTAR also lets developers earn tokens for building smart contracts or infrastructure. Their build to earn program, which we just covered that flywheel to encourage dApps to build out on the network here. They also cite down here, support for liquidity incentives on DeFi applications applications such as Arthswap and Poker X. So a load of notifications on their Medium page, the Seller Bridge, which is a bridging protocol, has been launched and you can now move ASTAR across a load of different networks. I've already bridged some funds from Polygon over to ASTAR. You can see some of the upcoming NFT projects, the staking festival that is currently live, and there's just a lot more going on here. So over the last few weeks, plenty of information to sink your teeth into. Check out their Medium. I'll leave it linked down below. But as you can see, the big boys, the VCs are coming in and backing ASTAR here. So a 200 mil market cap, I think it could be highly undervalued. Here is their DeFi Llama stats. TVL they state as around $600 million. A lot of that is made up from DAP staking currently going on through that festival. And then we have Arthswap, a DEX, Poker X down here, very low liquidity on that one, however, and Seabridge, that bridging mechanism. So I wanna take a little bit of time here to go into Arthswap. So this could well be the premier DEX on this blockchain. So I've already started to yield farm with a small amount of funds here. Essentially, you can see from this a swapping interface. It looks like PancakeSwap or Uniswap. Both of those are essentially being used to fork this. You can also see a pool tab over here to add liquidity. And then the various farms here that you can start getting involved with. So I've started to mine utilizing some stable coins, USDT and USDC. The APR is currently 94%. And I added around $1,000 here just to test it out and see what is happening. And and ensure that I am following up with this. This is going to pay me out in the ARTH swap token. ARSW is the ticker, but this token is not even yet live. So I'm mining before the incentives are actually distributed. So this is very, very early days here, but I'm just farming with stable coins, so no real risks. If you click on the bridge button, it takes you directly to the seller bridge. And so I've got my A-Star wallet connected and you can see the various chains we can bridge funds to. We've got Polygon, ETH, Binance Smart Chain and Shiden, which is the, the Kusama little sister version of ASTAR. 
So bridge up and running, they've also got a force it. So you will need to have some A star on hand in order to process any transactions on the network. So the force it being there is very interesting and it should help promote people to get their feet through the door over here. On top of that, there's also a staking tab not yet available. That will be for the Arthswap token. I've also seen that with the A star DGEN's NFT project on their roadmap, they have a staking feature with Arthswap as well to come. And there will also be lending as well. So very briefly, the Arthswap token in ARSW, a billion in total supply. This will be issued over the next 24 months. 35% from this will be through liquidity mining and airdrops. There will also be community growth, 15%, early contributors, 10%, development team, 20%, and potential investors, 20% down there. In terms of revenue share, 0.3% on transactions, 0.25% to LP. And then if you stake those Arthswap tokens, you get e Arthswap and you get 0.05% to the pool. So they forked the PancakeSwap V2 and the front end has been created from scratch here. And then they're aiming to actually bring out a Trader Joe style vision with a lending protocol added. And they say the Arthswap token will then be listed on exchanges. So they've got some plans in place. This is the main DEX currently live on here. And I thought, why not get involved and start yield farming some of these Arthswap tokens? And then last but not least, we have the staking festival currently ongoing. It says APR is around 9% so far. For staking to some of these dApps, I will get involved at some point once I've got enough A star under my belt liquid and I can start really staking in earnest. So once that is all done, I'll put together a nice tutorial for you guys if you want to copy along at home utilizing a ledger device. As with the EVM compatibility, you can literally just use your MetaMask to get involved with this if you want to avoid using the Polkadot.js wallet, which I know a lot of people find issue with. So there we have it. That is the A Star Network overview for today. This is one I'm very interested in in 2022 to accumulate. I think coming into the next bull run, the next bullish phase of this market cycle, you're going to see a lot of development on Polkadot and these smart contract platforms will be worth a lot of money. If 2021 was anything to show us, Layer 1 protocols will be in high demand due to a multi-chain future being almost a certainty at this point. If you enjoy the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Drop me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you guys and check out the link to Patreon down below. See you on the next one. Goodbye.